Welcome to We, The Living. Today, we will be counting down our top 9 picks of similar TV shows to The Vampire Diaries. There is blood, lust, sex, violence, and plenty of high-voltage drama. The CW's The Vampire Diaries has everything you're looking for in a supernatural series. The Vampire Diaries, like other shows in the genre, has its own definition of death. Without further delay, let's get on with the list. At number 9 we have Fringe, I strongly recommend this show to anyone who enjoys mystery shows like TVP and Lost, where things are slowly revealed. It can be overwhelming if you skip episodes because you won't understand anything. I strongly advise you to start watching this series at the beginning, this show should have been higher on the list, but because of the nature of the list, we ranked it 9th. At number 8, we have Being Human, living in the same house of vampire, a werewolf, and a ghost. So it can't possibly be boring. Despite the fact that they are non-humans, they try to live normal lives, but things always go wrong, every day is a new adventure for them as they discover that living together was probably not a good idea. With only 5 seasons, you shouldn't have too much trouble getting through it. At number 7, we have The Magicians. Break Bills University is a mysterious institution that specializes in magic. A group of 20-something friends discovers, amidst an unconventional spellcasting education, that a magical fantasy world they read about as children is all too real, and poses grave danger to humanity. At number 6 we have Riverdale. Set in the present, the series offers a bold, subversive take on Archie, Betty, Veronica and their friends, exploring the surreality of small town life, the darkness and weirdness bubbling beneath Riverdale's wholesome facade. Every corpse has a tale to tell, and this one has the touch of evil. Did you and Donnie Darko kill them together? At number 5 we have True Blood. Alan Ball created and produced the American television drama series True Blood. It is based on Charlene Harris's Southern Vampire Mystery series of novels, which depict the coexistence of vampires and humans in Bon Temps, a fictional small town in northwestern Louisiana. The plot revolves around Sookie Stackhouse, a telepathic waitress with otherworldly abilities. At number 4 we have Supernatural. Sam and Dean Winchester lost their mother to a mysterious and demonic supernatural force when they were children. As a result, their father raised them as soldiers. He taught them about the paranormal evil that lurks in America's dark corners and back roads, and how to kill it. Now, the Winchester brothers travel the country in their 1967 Chevy Impala, battling every supernatural threat they come across. At number 3, we have Legacies, Klaus Mikkelsen's daughter, 17-year-old Hope Mikkelsen, and Alaric Saltzman's twins, Lizzie and Josie Saltzman, among others, come of age as heroes and villains at the Salvatore School for the Young and Gifted, a place where young witches, vampires, and werewolves are nurtured to be their best selves in spite of their worst impulses. This is a story of magic, of secrets and betrayals. At number 2, we have The Originals. The Originals, a spin-off from The Vampire Diaries set in New Orleans, centers on the Mikkelsen siblings, also known as the world's original vampires, Klaus, Elijah, and Rebecca. Klaus must now take down his protege, Marcel, who is now in charge of New Orleans, in order to retake his city in the manner in which he originally built it. Next on our list, at number 1 and our top pick we have Teen Wolf. Scott McCall, a high school student in the town of Beacon Hills, has his life turned upside down when he is bitten by a werewolf and turns into one himself. He must now learn to balance his problematic new identity with his normal adolescent life. Styles, his best friend, Allison, his love interest who comes from a family of werewolf hunters, and Derek, 
a mysterious werewolf with a dark past. You can't just go around turning people into werewolves. I can if they're willing. You're not my type. I'm exactly your type. That was our top 9 picks. If you have any suggestions for other top lists you would like to see, or anything to add to this list, do let us know.